Howdy folks, my name is Mark Bishop. Great to meet you virtually. Uh, the first question I chose is, what coaching techniques do you use when working with leaders who are skeptical? Um, for, with folks like this, I like to share that initially, I myself was skeptical about working in agile ways. I thought it was too loose and chaotic. Uh, but in, a, in, in reality, agile ways of working is a very structured approach to development. We break the work down into very easy to understand components that everybody who cares about the product um, can see. And, um, and, and that we check in often with our stakeholders, our leadership, and our users to ensure that we're building a product that they need and that they want. Help us, they can help us to correct course as we do demos or stand-ups to make sure that we're building the right thing. I also like to share that we're going to be building from the ground up. We have a back end, we have a middle, a front end interface. We build the, develop, the, pro, the product rather in slices. So um, we can provide working software into the hands of users slice by slice until we get just enough of the product built to where we can call it good enough and call it done. Whereas if we were building in stages, uh, we can't stop until the whole thing is built, right? From beginning to end. And so that can a lot of times take longer. This will enable the team to be able to move on to provide value on a different product or in a different way. Um, second question, what is our approach for building trust within the new uh, within a new client or a, a new team? Um, the basis of a team's trust is that they feel that their team members have their back, that they feel valued, and that um, the other team members have their best interests at heart, me included, right? So first thing I want to know is, do you understand the why that we develop Agile? Not just the what, but why. Why do we have these daily stand-ups? Why do we do retrospectives? Why do we do demos? And help them to understand that these are all about creating transparency amongst the team and from the team outside to our other stakeholders. When we have successes, uh, teach the team to reflect that back on the team. Man, this is a great team. That's why we succeeded. It's not all just me, right? And so that helps the other team members to understand that you care about them, that you have their best interest at heart. And then when we have challenges, we see those as opportunities. Teach the team to see those as opportunities to be better next time, right? It's not about throwing blame or throwing somebody under the bus. Instead, it's about how can we take what we've learned and apply it and be better? Additionally, I like to, um, when I see uh, these kinds of behaviors exemplified in the team, I like to bring that out. It was great how you held up so-and-so and showed that they had done such a great job in that area. And conversely, when uh, somebody has done, maybe done uh, or had a behavior that wasn't so trust building, um, you know, just kind of pull them aside one-on-one -on -one away from the team and say, well, maybe there's a better way to say that, right? Basically, in the end, we want the team to understand and believe that their team members uh, have their best interests at heart and um, that they can rely on them uh, for help and guidance and, um, and to help them to be the very best they can for the product. Um, third question, what is the Agilist's main role within product development? Um, main role of an Agilist is to help the team to develop the very best product we can for our stakeholders. This looks different based on the role, right? For a scrum master, this is all about uh, removing impediments uh, for the team, making sure the team members have the tools they need to succeed. It includes looking for um, areas where maybe there's overload or burnout or frustrations and helping the team to learn how to resolve those problems so that the team can function more effectively going forward. For the product owner, this means providing guidance for the team, being present and having answers for them when they can, um, and being open to questions that are difficult, like not only what are we building, but why? Why are we building this piece of functionality? Being willing and open uh, to answer those kind of questions for the team. For the team member, it means being present both physically and mentally focusing on the team's goals and vocalizing problems when, they, when we see them so that the team can be more successful in the future. Thank you so much. Have a great day.